How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to our Stardew Valley Let's Play and guys today's episode is going to be a huge one. We've got summer just around the corner and we've got a lot to do to get ready for it. So let's jump straight into the action. Ah, uh, here we go. It's a nice new day. Our bank account is building. We've got lots of salmon berries and we've got the silly note block as always. And we've got some living off the land today, guys. And it's talking about fruit trees. Now, these are pretty cool. They take a whole season to grow, but then you'll get a piece of fruit every day that they're in season. Uh, so we will definitely be looking into building those or growing those soon or other. Uh, it's also going to be nice and sunny tomorrow. And how's our fortune today? Let's have a look. The spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed. No! <laughs> crazy spirits I don't even know but uh, if you look up here we've got a new present that's been built our silo is finally finished which means we can start to collect uh, some hay which is great so we'll put our fishing rod away we'll get our scythe out and now all this grass that is encroaching upon our farm can now be chopped and sliced and diced and all that good stuff and we will see the little hay icons appearing above Aaron's head which means our silo is automatically filling up and that's actually pretty cool because I wanted to clean up the farm a bit uh, before the next season starts. So, you know, like getting rid of some of those stones. I can chop these giant stumps and I think uh, I'll get a little bit of hardwood out of them, which is pretty cool. Oh, there's another random bit. Let's get that. A little bit more of our scythe. But uh, as I was saying, it is an interesting time of the season because we don't want to start growing any new crops because they generally don't transfer over between seasons, except for like corn and stuff like that. But uh, I do have a few goals before summer starts. So obviously, I'm going to keep watering my crops and uh, make sure they grow to fruition so we can make our money. But there's another few things I'm going to be doing too over the next few days before the first of summer. One thing I want to do is start converting a lot of my ore into resources. So quartz, for example, when you put it in your forges, it makes refined quartz, uh, which we need to make our quality sprinklers. So I'll be looking at doing that. The other thing I want to do is I want to spend a day in the mines and try and get to a, a deeper level there, especially if I can start to get gold ore as well, because I love to get my tools really upgraded in summer. Uh, the other thing I do want to do is spend a day fishing. Uh, to get some more money coming in so I can buy lots of crops at the start of the next season. And then I want to spend a day around the farm chopping trees, getting sap so I can build all that lovely fertilizer because we are going to need that. Uh, so over the next few days, I'll show you guys some highlights, but uh, we're mostly aiming to get to the start of summer in this episode. So let's zoom ahead and let's see what we can achieve. Okay guys, we're down almost at level 80 and it is getting late and there is a skeleton in my way. Get out of the way, you crazy skeleton. Oh my gosh, I don't have time for you. Ooh, but we do find another treasure chest and I got firewalker boots. Oh, they seem pretty good. Uh, what have they got? Three defense and three immunity. Oh my gosh, that is a huge upgrade. Oh, so good. I'm going to have to rush back to town. I mean, back to base. But we've got... Oh, there's gold ore. Oh, so good. But I don't have time to explore now. But uh, we might get some more mines in before the uh, start of summer. Whoa, guys. Look what I woke up to today. All our crops are ready for harvesting. We're going to be rich people. And let's get all of these nice parsnips. And you can see there's a few gold ones sneaking in there, which is the benefits of using that lovely, lovely fertilizer. But uh, as you can see, also, I've been making the refined quartz in my furnaces, getting ready for the quality sprinklers. And it looks like we've got some mail, too. So let's quickly see what that's all about. Who knows who it's from? Come by the shop. Oh, it's from Willie. Come by the shop and check out the new rods I'm selling. They're the best money can buy. And you can customize them with different kinds of tackle. Hope to be seeing you soon, lad lover <laughs> oh my gosh so there might be a new fishing rod that's actually pretty cool i like that if you wonder why i'm holding the quartz uh over my head it's to stop me trying to like eat the items while i'm harvesting them so if you use an item that can't like doesn't have a use uh it stops it from yeah giving you that auto command which is pretty handy indeed but anyway i'll sell all these i'm gonna do some fishing today so hopefully we get another level of fishing skill as well as a level of uh, uh farming skill because i need level six for quality sprinklers so so we'll see how we go. Anyway, guys, let's zoom ahead. What a relaxing day doing some fishing, guys. And thanks to my higher level fishing skill, I can now cast far enough to get to the lucky rock. And as you can see, we're catching lots of gold star fish today, 
which is awesome and some seaweed. Yeah, thanks game, make me look like a total noob. Oh, oh, oh. But it's actually going really well and the one thing I was thinking about is upgrading to the next level fishing pole. I think it's 1500 gold but then I can put bait on it uh, so we can catch the fish uh, a lot quicker. And you can see I just got a perfect catch there and that's when the uh, little green bar doesn't leave the fish the whole time. And I think you get triple experience. It could be triple, uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, let me know. But uh, it's definitely worthwhile if you can get perfect catches. So anyway, we're going to chill out here for a bit more and hopefully make lots of money today. Well, ho guys, we got to level 5 farming, which means we get to pick our next perk. Now, this is a tricky uh, one because it's if you want to go the animal path or the farming path. But one thing with Tiller is it leads to the level 10 perk artisan which means when you're making like wines and cheeses you get a boost to them so i'm probably going to lean towards that but as always i'll put a voting card on screen oh, i got level six farming as well holy moly i'll put a voting card on screen let me know which perk you pick for farming and uh yeah and let me know your reasons in the comments below so we can now make our quality sprinklers which is awesome and oh look how much money we made today holy moly the crops are worth a fortune and we made a bit more from fish so so good guys let's keep going here we are in the mines guys and i'm actually doing the trick i showed you guys in an earlier episode and i'm redoing level uh 81 over and over again to try and generate as much gold ore as possible so all you do is you go into the level and then you run straight back out uh and go back to the elevator and go back down and this way it'll whoops i think i did the wrong one there uh, this way you generate a new level 81 every time. And whoa, we got a treasure trove. Oh, that's amazing. And the boulder monster's trying to kill me. I'm going to have to deal with it. I'm going to have to deal with it. Ultimate battle. Get away from me, boulder monster. I want my gold ore. And the reason I'm doing this, guys, is every five gold ore I can get will be enough to make a quality sprinkler. So it's definitely worth a little bit of farming here. So you can see I've got 21 gold ore already. Uh, that's going to be four quality sprinklers. And, uh, oh goodness, I'm almost out of energy. Uh, and that's totally worth it. So I'll probably be setting up my um, quality sprinklers with my blueberries. Uh, because they're just, you want those crops there all season. You don't want to mess around with them. And uh, it's a nice, easy way to do it. So as you can see, it's definitely a great strategy. Especially if you're not quite ready for the lower levels yet. But uh, you do want to get some of that beautiful golden ore. And this slime is trying to kill me. Stay away from me, slime. Stay away from me. Anyway, I'm going to do this till about 9 o'clock. And then I'm going to go sell the rest of my uh, gear at the Adventurer's Guild. Because I'll show you guys quickly. I have tons of it building up. Look at all this stuff I can sell. Holy moly. But uh, anyway, we'll see how we go. Oh, wow. We got another perk, guys. Oh, my gosh. So we've got Miner this time or Geologist. Oh, my gosh. And what we should probably do in the comments is let me know your recommendations for the skills that we don't have for level 5 yet. So I have an idea going into it. Now, this is probably good for Iridium or later on. Geologists will probably give me more money in the short term. So I think I'll go for geologists just because I believe you get double geodes as well, uh, which is pretty useful. So I didn't sell too much today, but we did get a lot of gold ore, which is awesome. It's here, it's here, it's finally summertime, the first of the month. And as you can see, we've done a pretty good job getting some gold ready for the new season. And let's see what the living off the land is today. <gasps> a whole new slew of crops to plant. Take hops, for example. The vines take a while to grow, but once they're mature, they can be harvested every day. Well, that's actually pretty cool. We might try a few of those out. It's going to be clear and sunny all day, so we get pretty good weather uh, during summer. The spirits are annoyed. Oh my gosh, crazy spirits. I don't even know. But uh, the first thing you'll notice is the farm is a bit bigger. I spent a bit of time expanding everything. And at the start of a new season, there's always uh, random debris added to the farm. So more trees and grass grow and all that good stuff. So we'll clear a little bit of that up. But uh, let's just quickly do our crab pots now. We have a few missions uh, before Pierre's store opens. And we can buy all our new crops for the season. So what we'll do, let's get all that done. Just like building up our fishing skills slowly. So what I want to do is let's get rid of the old crops, beautiful, and that keeps the uh, ground uh, tilled, which is kind of nice. And what we're going to do is I've got an extra furnace, and I've been making gold bars like crazy. So we're going to set up, I've got my scarecrows ready, we're actually going to make our higher quality sprinklers, and there's the refined quartz. 
Uh, let's get a bunch of these made uh, because I'll be using these for my blueberries uh, because they're, you know, just crops where they're going to be there the whole time. Uh, so we want them as automated as possible. There we go. Let's put those there. And uh, yeah, okay, so we can get this started. So basically, uh, quality sprinklers will water all the blocks around them. So they are really easy to use. And that's why I didn't uh, bother with the other ones, because they're not quite as good. Uh, so we might leave a little room to walk on the side. So you need to put them every, like, two blocks apart. There we go. And we might actually run our blueberries down this side. So we'll put some there, some there. Beautiful. Oh, look at this, guys. Now, is that going to work? Yeah, that's going to work, because then uh, they can get the fence as well. Now, let's see. Each sprinkler can do eight crops. So that's eight. That's 64 crops there. Uh, we might get a few extra ones. Let's see. So that's 72, 80. Uh, oh my gosh, we're going to have a lot. 88, uh, 96 blueberries. Okay. So we'll do that all for blueberries. And then what we might do here is put like some different crops. Another thing I like to do, I don't know about you guys, is I like to put my scarecrows just in front of the sprinkler. So if we put him like that, because I always forget to water behind the scarecrow anyway. And uh, yeah, it drives me crazy because then my crops die. So we might put our scarecrows in like a shape of four. And that should cover the whole area really, really nicely. So I'll just put the sprinklers just so I can like measure it out properly. Uh, we can move them very, very easily. So that's not an issue. So yeah, if we put another scarecrow there and then the last scarecrow here, that should cover the whole area very nicely indeed. Okay, so it's 9 o'clock now, so we can make our way to Pierre's and uh, start to buy all of our stuff. This is going to be awesome. Now, another thing we need to look out for, too, is there's new foraging items that we can collect. Oh, and wormies. No, stop giving me clay. You smelly worms. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, yeah, there's four new foraging items uh, that we can collect to put into... Uh, the community center so we'll need to keep track of all that too so it's really exciting i don't think there's berries in those bushes but i do think there is another berry season uh which we'll have to look out for because i love the berry seasons they're awesome okay 30 copper ores 300 gold we probably could accept that because i do have lots of copper uh in my base so that's fine and let's just say to hi to everyone get a few friendship points I'm getting some supplies for the saloon. Pierre's got the good stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm getting... Oh, he's just saying the same thing again. Normally, it cuts you off if they say the same thing. I love animals, Mr. Aaron. If you treat yours well, I'm sure we'll become good friends. Yes, and we'll be looking at getting our animals started soon. Now, I know I can afford the backpack, but I want to make sure we get our seeds sorted first. So, now, blueberry is the crop we really want to go for here. And let's make sure we get enough of those first. So, what did I say about 96? Let's just get a hundred of them. That should start now. We also need to check quickly what crops do we need for the summer crops. So I need to grow tomatoes, hot pepper, blueberry, and melon. Okay, so we need to make sure we get at least one of all those. But uh, we'll get like a nice amount. Uh, so let's get maybe... We could get like ten of the different uh, ones. So we can get ten of those. Now, I already have some melon seeds, but we'll try and grow some giant melons, uh, which will be pretty cool. So, let's see. What else can we get? Let's try some wheat. Uh, let's get some radishes. Why not? Poppies. Are they a flower? A bright red flower in seven days. Now, there are a hundred, uh, but I think flowers drop our seeds again. So, that's kind of nice. Actually, I might just sell one of each of these because I'm going to put them in like nine by nine, uh, like little squares, if you know what I mean. Okay. Uh, should we try some hops? I don't know. I kind of want to try everything. This is awesome. Okay, so let's get... This is just quicker. I know. I'm being silly. All right, let's get that. Uh, should we get... Yeah, let's just... Let's get a bit of everything and have some fun on our farm. Uh, corn lasts for two seasons. So that can be good to invest in. 14 days. Now, we might do that tomorrow because I want to make sure I get all the basic summer stuff uh, ready first. Now... I still do have some extra money. I could get a tiny few more blueberries. No, let's just start with this for now because that's going to be a lot of work already, even with our sprinklers. So let's get back to the farm. All right, here comes the tricky part. We need to get everything in. So let's put... I made a new bundle box. I think it's over here. And that's where I'm keeping all my bundle items. So anything new, we found some new monster loot and all that good stuff. So we'll put that over there. And I changed this yellow box 
into our food box where we're going to start keeping like food items. Just to free this box was getting like way too full. So we need to, let's see, I want to make some more fertilizer. I can't make the better fertilizer until uh, farming level 9, but for now we can make stacks of this. Let's just click really fast and get lots of fertilizer. Beautiful. And I'll use that for the blueberries. And now we need to start to hoe uh, all the way around our sprinklers, just like that. So I'm going to do that now. I can get rid of the messy like bits out of there, so that's kind of nice. And uh, I've also got, I noticed we've got also, I've got some speed, oh, there's got more melons. And I've also got speed grow. And I think I'll use that on the melons because we're going to try and get the giant ones. So rather than do it with the blueberries, because I want them all to be harvestable on the same days. Otherwise, it's going to be like really, really annoying. So anyway, I'll get this all tilled, guys, and then we'll start putting our stuff in. And we're putting all the fertilizer in ready for the crazy blueberries. There we go. So I want to keep it kind of neat still because remember, once we get our greenhouse, I can grow any crop any time of the year. So what do you guys like to put in your greenhouses? Let me know in the comments. But uh, so I'll keep it neat even if I've got a few leftover seeds. And that way we can clearly see all the different crops we're growing too. But uh, these fertilizers should help out quite a bit. Ah, uh, there we go. Getting all this in. So how many have I got left? I've got 38. So let's put them around these uh, sprinklers as well. And don't worry, I'll go through and make sure like I'm not missing a square because that would be really annoying uh, when we get a few days down the track. Okay, so I've got six left over. I think that's looking pretty nice. So we've got a good coverage of blueberries there. So what we might do is let's try some of our other crops. Ooh, should I put them around sprinklers? Let's see. Uh, what's another one that grows throughout and produces summer? Some of them keep producing, I think. Harvest with a scythe. I think there was one. Uh, these ones do the peppers. And continues to produce tomatoes do. So let's put our peppers and tomatoes around the next one. So I don't have much fertilizer yet. Actually, I could chop a few more trees down quickly and get some more. I think I'll do that, guys. Oh my gosh, guys. What a busy day. But as you can see, I think I've just about got everything in. I've got the melons with the speed grow there. And uh, I've just sort of fit in a few random crops on the side here. Uh, we've got our hot peppers and our tomatoes there uh, because they're regrowing crops as well. And uh, I'm just trying to desperately get it all watered uh, before night time. So we should be okay. But uh, in the morning, these sprinklers will do the watering for us. And I might be able to add a few more as we go. But uh, I can't wait to see how it looks in the morning, guys. Let's zoom ahead. Oh my goodness, guys, that is a busy day. The first day of the season is always crazy. I don't know about you guys, but I try and get every bit of efficiency I can into the day so we can get lots of stuff done early on. And uh, how's the, the luck? No, the spirits are mildly perturbed again. Oh gosh. But uh, as you can see, the sprinklers have watered a nice amount of our crops. And of course, I would forget to put some crops in there because you guys know me by now. I am a silly chicken. So We'll put some wheat in. That grows nice and fast. And uh, I put a little row of flowers along there. We've got our melons. We've got all that good stuff. But as you can see, there's not actually much for me to water each day. So we can even get some more crops going. So let me know if you think I should spend some more money and get some crops going outside. Should I get more sprinklers? Who knows? But uh, we will start to wrap that up there for today, guys, because... It's the start of summer, and I'd love your guys' input on what we should be doing uh, next. So there's still lots to do. We've actually got a fair bit of room uh, cleared now, so we could start to get some more farm buildings in, maybe get our coop or something like that, which would be nice. But uh, yeah, I'd really love you guys to let me know. So give me some direction in the comments. We've got a big summer ahead of us. Smash the like button if you're enjoying our Stardew Valley adventure, and subscribe if you're new to our channel, and catch up with all our latest content. And here's the most important part, as always, you'll stay happy and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Days signing out. See ya!